I'm Sandy here. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. This is the day before. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Yeah. Um, I took quite a few um, uh, Christmas pictures, so I, it'll be a little while before I order my prints, but um, I need to be able to make my pages. So I'm going to look through my, this is my Christmas winter snow book where I keep all of that kind of stuff. Um, I got these at, at um, Dollar Tree this year. They're, they're um, for your gift packages, but I'm not going to use them for that. I will, I will cut these out and and make use them for tags and borders and embellishments. And there's two sides. A dollar for all of this. That's a lot of stickers for a dollar. I think there's... Wait a minute. There's three pages on there. I was thinking there was two, but there's three. Okay. So this is my snow section. Snow winter. Um, anytime I make a snow page, I come here. And this is what I have. And I like to make ahead my borders and, and some tags for decorations. Um, at one point, I was making up a lot of these just to use up a lot of stuff. Um, and I prefer a bigger tag. I do use these. But I prefer a larger size tag. Um, they fill in my space better. Um, like this size, that's bigger. Um, but I like to have all this pre-made ahead. And I keep everything in this book. Um, this is the snow stuff. And then I, I put some snow stickers here. And this is my snow scraps. It's right here. Um, I keep all of my scraps by, sorted by color, but if it's a subject, it goes with the subject. Everything is right here. Um, but I'm not going to do snow pictures, I don't think. I might. <laughs> so that's my snow section. And now here's, I got a tab here. This is my Christmas section. This, these are my borders. Um, And these these you can see I just used up some random stuff <laughs> this is two borders here I, I just stick you can see where I had just a little dab of glue on the back of a, of a border and it was stuck in here and I pulled it out and used it so here's some more smaller tags just using up stuff to make them um, and I these are these are baseball card holders obviously I uh, just made them to, I think they're two and a half by three and a half, but if you're going to try it, measure for yourself. And so then, I've been collecting stuff. <laughs> my recent purchases, if you saw my haul video from um, um, Scrapbooking for Less, or my, I don't think I got any when I went crazy at um, Hobby Lobby this a couple of months ago. I don't think I bought any Christmas stuff, but I might have. But usually I, I cut things apart and I stick them on like this so I can just glance and see what I have. But I, I didn't get around to doing it yet. But I just drop it into a pocket and it's it's there. Um, so here's some pages where I can see everything. Um, and I try to organize by, here's a lot of words. I try to use up those words. Here's some little things where I can journal and write something about Christmas Eve at Grandma's house or whatever, you know. Um, more words, words, lots of words. Um, God, somebody gave me this, I think, and I really need to make an effort to use it. Um, more words. Just everything in here. Um, so I want to make some tags and borders. This is a scrap. I can make a border out of that. Um, here's a little tag. Um, and more stuff. I bought these um, also at Dollar Tree. There's two sides. Um, and I'm going to use them for making my tags and borders and embellishments. They're actually gift tags. And self-adhesive. I can uh, cut, cut it up and use it the way I want it. And they got glitter on them. They're so cute. So, I've got those two sides. And then I've got what's in here? Whoop! I'm 
picking up my stuff off the floor. Um. These would look nice on a page. Um, these these frames, I never use these frames. I try to make an effort sometimes, but I'll just use this embellishment just like that. Maybe I'll, I'll add some, yeah, I'll, I'll add some little holly or something to the corner. Yeah, that'll be cute. Um, gotta make it my own, not just use it like that. Uh, this is some packaging from something I bought. I, I think from a nightlight I bought. Um, it's got Mickey on it, and that's, I put that with my scraps. I can make, make a tag on that. I think I will decorate these, because otherwise, I probably won't even use them. I'm going to add some embellishments to those. That. These are great as is, because I can write something on there. There's another one of those. I got I I like to do things to my stuff so that I will pick it up and use it. And this I was using up some scraps and I made this. That's going to be perfect base for a Christmas tag. This is um photo mats. And I keep those handy so I'll be sure and see those and get those used. Uh, now, here we go. Here's my scraps. And I need to make some tags and borders to decorate. Uh so I'm going to make a couple of tags and borders and then I'm on for you on, on the camera and then I'm going to continue. What, what do we got here? Oh, oh yeah. Um, that Dollar Tree <laughs> buying stuff I don't need. These are gift bags. There was three for a dollar. And I love the pickup truck. So I have two of each of them. Uh, yeah, two of each of these. Where's the other pickup truck? I love the pickup truck. I, I think I put that one of them in my um, glue book section. So I use it on a glue book page. Or maybe it's here someplace. Yeah, there it is. There it is. But I bought this to use for... To decorate a scrapbook page with. And then I got the tags. The tags were on the bag. So all that for a dollar. Um... So, I'm going to play with my stuff. So, I'm going to push this aside. And here's my scraps. I save, I save everything. Let's see. There's a tag. And these I'm going to decorate. Put some holly. Or, I don't even know if I have any holly. Put something on the corners to decorate them a little bit. Okay. Now... Let's see what I got. I got lots of scraps. This is some gift wrap. I was using some of this in my glue books. I uh, Scrapbooking is my number one love. And I've been caught up for a year and a half or two years. I'm not sure how long. And so I learned how to make glue books and if you don't know what that is google it um look at my some of my other videos um because i make a lot of them oh that's a nice for a border okay these are like almost border length over here so uh i, I like these about two and a half inches where's my ruler Well, this will measure it. That's that's over three inches. So I'm going to trim that down. I'm, I think two and three quarters is what I like to make my stuff. So I'm going to trim that down a little bit on this side. Two and three quarters. This is right there at the seven. My numbers are getting a little bit faded. There. I don't like them too wide. Because I like to have stuff hanging off the side. Okay, there's a border face. Okay. So I've got... A stack of... 
I've used old calendar, the fronts and backs, the fronts and backs of, of um, scrapbooking um, pads, cereal boxes, all kinds of stuff. And, and look at these worthless little scraps. No, they're not worthless. No, they're not. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. So, I gotta get my paper for gluing. And then I need my glue stick. So, see, it's just an old. I think my daughter drew on that. I don't know what it is. Doesn't matter. So, I'm gonna glue this. And then I'm going to line it up here. Rub it down. And then I take my scissors. And cut this out. Now I think I've got my measurements down. I think forget what size this is but I do have oh my, my computer makes that noise all the time where's my, where's my thing well I did have a, this is my baseball cards um, size um, my pattern <laughs> but I guess I just use these for a pattern now uh, but I cut them all, all down to size and then I, I used it as a pattern and snipped the corners to make all these bases. And this is ready to go. This is ready to go. I think that's a little bit bigger than I usually... No, that's just the right size. Okay. Um, now this is... Well, but it's sideways. Well, not really. Yeah, all the ears are going up that way. Well... Okay, this has a little bit of a jagged edge, so I'm going to trim it straight. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any Mickey Mouse, much Mickey Mouse um, stuff. I, I have some thin paper tags too because this is cardstock so oh that's nice yeah whatever and I'm gonna use this I'm gonna use this make sure it's straight so I I um use a lot of scraps <laughs> I use a lot of strips and I I'm gonna put this right here rub that down now this is kind of like cardstock um, well this is kind of heavy too um, what else do we have I'm going to glue this on there. And then... Let's just see what I have. That's not long enough. Well, I'm going to use it anyway. I like to use up my scraps. Okay, and then I've got this. I'm going to glue that on there.
Now you, you can see a little bit of the background showing through, but I am not fussy, and it'll probably get covered up with something anyway. So now, here we go. I'm going to cut this down. Okay, there's a tag base. And it's it's thicker cardstock with thinner paper and it's a little flimsy. But I'm going to decorate this and I will eventually glue it onto a page and it's going to be in a page protector and that's not going to matter. So I'm going to save this scrap and this scrap and the rest of this is, can go in my recycling. Recycle that. Okay, what else do we have? This this is just about right for a tag. I'm going to get a pencil, make a little mark right there, and then I can I can trim it with my paper cutter. I love using my scraps. I really do. And then I'll use this as a pattern. It's just the right height, too. It's slightly over, but it, it can vary a little bit. It doesn't have to be anything exact. So there's another tag base. What else do we have? What else? What else? What else? Because sometimes I like to, um, is this, is this tall enough for a tag? It's a little bit short, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to trim it. I'm just going to wing it about that much. About that much. Just trim a little bit off. That's printed on both sides. Pretty cool. Oh, there's my dog Rosie. See, look at this. Look at all this I've made in just took a couple of minutes. Okay. I might as well make another one. Look, this one. This one has some snowflakes on it. And this one doesn't. Uh, see, that's the back end. And who cares? Who cares? Okay. So, I'm going to... This is packaging, and it's a little rough on one edge. So, I'm going to trim that. And then, I need to trim it down. Just going to eye it. About that much. And I'm going to... Trim the corners. Get it kind of lined up. And if it's not perfect, who really cares? <laughs> and and if you're you're kind of fussy about that, do it your way. That's that's great. We all have our own way of doing things. I know I'm very different. Okay. Ooh, I like this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I, I kind of like to put my favorite papers up high. Because that's down here is usually where I decorate. I try I, sometimes I decorate the whole tag, and this this I need to cut up into embellishments. I'm not going to use that for a tag. I could put this on a border actually. I might just do that. I'm going to put those with my embellishments. This was a piece of scrap paper that was just that whole pattern. Okay. So I'm going to put that right there. And then I've got this. Season's Greetings. that right there. And 
and I'll add this. I think I will put, no, I'm going to put this right here. Sometimes I kind of line it up on one side and then on the other side. That's all going to get trimmed out. This, uh, this you can see where I made a line to um, cut it, but my pattern is there. So I'm going to trim that off a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I got cook there's cookies on there. I got to don't want to lose my cookies. Okay. There. Now I'll go on the back. Trim it down. I didn't get it quite up to the top edge. I'm going to trim right there. there. See, that's just some mix and match Christmas paper. Okay. So now I'm going to make a few borders. These are just about right the way they are. They're all the same size because I only do eight and a half by eleven sheet pages, and this is from a twelve by twelve sheet. So by eight and a half would be here, eight and a half by eleven, and then one inch off the top. This should be eight and a half. I'm pretty sure it is, and I like them to be two and three quarter inches. So I'm going to trim this down. So these are all ready for me to use for borders. Then I've got these strips. I hope they're all eight and a half inches. Yeah, I think they are. This one I need to cut it. Maybe. Maybe I gotta cut it an inch off. Well, I'll figure it out as, as I go. So what do I do now? Um, this is eight and a half by eleven. I'm going to reuse it, recycle it, so I'm going to cut that down to two and three quarters, use that as a base, two and three quarters, two and three quarters, okay, well let me look at this. I don't want to do anything to that one. This one, this one, see this holly? I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna trim that with the scissors. It's a bit close to get lined up. This one I can get lined up, I think. Okay, probably not going to be totally straight, but good enough, good enough. Now this does have this little um, polka dots on the end, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, put that away.
Now these are just my tap, my border bases because I'm going to decorate them. We use up some embellishments and words and stuff, like I showed you in my in my book. See, I like that. I'm, okay, here's what I'm going to do. One of my strips I cut. I've got this. And this. And, oh, I like this there. And that. Okay, so. Hmm. I'm going to glue this on there. Now, as a rule, I usually make my borders upright. This would be my page here, and I would put my pictures here. Um, sometimes I put them across the, the bottom, but I usually try to make them upright. That's just what I usually do. Okay. I'm going to line this up with this. And then this one's going to overlap a little bit. Turn this around so I can get it lined up with the edge. there and now there's usually a little something hanging off the end so I trim that so there's another border base so I'm going to play with this and I'll get back to you and show you all of my um, border and tag bases and then we'll decorate some. So I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is all the scraps I have left now plus my, um, my gift wrap scraps. So I used up quite a bit of that. Um, these are the tags that I made. I actually found these two among that stuff that I pulled out of the page protector, my loose stuff, and I am so into tags. <laughs> so I cut these out. Um, I might add some buttons or uh, embellishments to those. We'll see. Um, so I used up some scraps on that one, mix and match, and it's mostly going to be covered up. And then the, this that I made, um, and then uh, there's some scraps. That's that one I started out with. Made that one. Uh, scraps. Scraps. Made that one. And that one. And that one. And then I had quite a bit of this. <laughs> I actually have another little piece of it for scrap. So I got those. And then. Um. I've got this border. This is gift wrap and a, and a strip. So I've got that. And then I've got this. I kind of have a pink. And actually, I have this pink uh, penguin. That'll look good on there. <laughs> so I like to add just a strip onto my stuff just because I need to use up all this stuff. I don't like to waste anything. So there I got the beginning of a, of, a, of a border right there. So I'm going to put that right back. Um, 
and then this one same thing just added a strip to it added a strip to it added a strip added a strip I think I made this on on camera um, just using up some scraps um, this I might add some stars if I can find them um, and then this one <laughs> I used up lots of bits and pieces on this one and then added a strip to it. So I've got some Christmas borders to begin with and then doing the eight and a half by eleven pages uh, sometimes I have a little strip I need to fill in and I, I actually made a sideways border. I might add some buttons or something to that. Um, this is actually a, a 12 inch border. I said, well, is it? I mean, 11 inch. I, I do eight and a half by 11. Yeah, that'll that'll fit on a on an 11 inch border. But I'm just going to keep it with that. Um, these are um, brand strips from scrapbook paper, and so I'll have that. Um, this I can fill in a space. Um, this is um, from a Holly Hobby calendar that I've had for 30, 40 years. Uh, this I don't use um, month words much, but if it's there when I'm doing a Christmas page and I see it, I might just go ahead and use it. And this was from the same thing. And then I've got this little long tag. I can write something on and then I, I have this embellished well hello um, I was videotaping and uh, I think I videotaped a good well over half an hour making some tags and borders but then when I looked at my camera it had shut off after about four minutes so darn it uh, I'll show you how far I've come but I'm just getting started I got so much I don't know how this glue dot got on here. I don't know how that got on there. I'm trying to peel it off. Well, anyway, we'll get it off later. So I made three tags and three borders, which I'll show you, and I'm going to continue. I did this one. I just added Mary and Bright and some some gold stars in the sky and a cup and some uh, blue buttons. I did this one with some vintage um, pictures. Uh, added a snowman and a stamp it's not a real stamp um, some buttons and some little things hanging off the edges and I did this one in pink um, added a few sequins and a few buttons and I can write on this one I made this one Add a couple of buttons and and Santa in his truck. I just love that picture. Say, Hello, my name is Santa. It's like a name tag. I gotta have my little things hanging off the side. And then this was a big old sticker of Santa. I added a teddy bear and <clears throat> the star and a button. Use this little picture of a snowman and added a stocking and a reindeer and just. Happy Holidays. <coughs> so now we'll proceed. Um, where do we start? These were on... Um, these are like Project Life cards. I left those as is. And these were on there and I cut them out. So I can use them on tags. And this I cut out with... with decorative scissors so I can make tags with those um, I'm going to choose something here oh this one's cute Santa and so I'll choose a background I'm just going to grab one of these because I've got so many of them um, oh, 
here's how much I like having little things hanging off the side. I have this whole box <laughs> of stuff. Of just tiny little scraps. Okay. <coughs> so what else can I add? I've got to use these wor words. <coughs> Christmas wishes. And I've got to use some of these stickers. Hmm. <coughs> I wonder what else I have in green and red. I'm going to grab them. I don't have much red stuff. I don't know why. Well, I kind of do. Red and green. Oh, this is nice. Actually, I got a star. I need to use a star. They're getting some bling built up on that. And I need to use little stickers. I'm going to make an effort to cut some things off of here and use them. Oh, I got a reindeer. I'm not fussy cutting, I'm just giving it a little bit of edge on it. Sometimes it's, things stand out better when you don't fussy cut. That's ready to go. There's my glue stick. Slide that off. Gotta put the glitter on the top because glitter doesn't can't glue stuff on top of it very well. <coughs> I've been only been up a little while. My throat's a little bit I don't know, scratchy. I did have a cup of tea already. Okay. So 
this is my style I just mix and match try to use things up need a glue dot for this one So I have three sizes of glue dots and I would always have to be picking them up and checking, finding the size and, and one of my viewers suggested that I color the rim so I tried that. I just did that last night and the lighter color <coughs> is the small ones that's yellow. The middle color orange is the middle size. And then the brighter color red is the larger size. So now I can s easily see which color is which. So I hope that's going to help. I just got to remember my code. I had a red shiny thing. I don't know where it went. I'm going to have to get another one. It'll turn up. I'm going to put that right there. And I'll get me another red shiny thing. Actually, maybe I didn't pull out a shiny thing. I was going to and I pulled out a star. Yeah, that's what happened. But I want a red shiny thing anyway. So there's another tag done. <coughs> now I think I'll do a border. What have I got for a border? This. I'm going to round the corners. I think I'll go with that one. Now I gotta find stuff to add to it. one of my borders that I had made um, 11 inches long but then I put it across the bottom of the eight and a half by 11 page instead of long way so I had a little scrap left of it oh what to use I'm gonna use a Christmas tree I'm gonna use I don't know I wonder how this will stand up on there. Kind of gets lost. But I'm going to use that on something. I really like it. <coughs> what the heck? I'll use that. Merry and bright. Okay, it's coming along. 
Or maybe Holly Jolly. Yes. I just found this. I'm going to, um, where's my Mickey Mouse tag? Yeah, right there. I could make a Mickey Mouse tag. Yes. Not right now. That'll be my next one. Um, I thought I had a lot of stickers. Christmas stickers, but I don't. I have a friend who's practically buried in... <laughs> Oh, oh, I do have stickers. I do have stickers. I gotta get those out so I can see what I have. Yes, boy, I do have stickers. But I'm gonna use. <laughs> this. Now it's self-adhesive, but I'm not even going to use that. That off. Recycle the back. Round my corners. Well, since I've got this gingerbread, man, I'm going to add a little gingerbread cookie. Put that up there in the corner. I'm looking at this Christmas mouse sticker. I need some 3D stuff. Got a big red sequin. What have I got in green? I got a big green sequin too. go somewhere. And I think I'll add one of each red and green buttons. Buttons are one of my favorite embellishments, I think. Okay, now I'm ready to start gluing. I, I think I have one little piece of paper to glue on the edge. Pretty much covered it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna shift it up. There. 
And then this sticker, I'm going to glue it. I don't care how good it's on here because I know this sticker. It's very old. Well, it's sticking pretty good, really, but I'm going to glue it. I'm going to glue it anyway. I don't trust it. Holly Jolly. So today is New Year's Eve. And we packed up our Christmas tree. <laughs> and all of our decorations. And all of our blow molds in the front yard. About 35 of them. And... <laughs> We love, we love our Christmas decorations, but when Christmas is over, it's over, and we pack it up, because we're done. So, we got that all packed up. I got everything packed up on the 26th, and then on the 27th, I, well, I, then I unpacked my tree in the living room, and, you know, I undecorated it and packed it up, and Took, we took everything. We had the boxes in the living room and like 18 boxes. <laughs> Some of them are those super, 10 of them are those super huge ones with the Christmas tree that you can pack a whole Christmas tree in. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of decorations and when Christmas is here, it's we're done. Because we have them up, we put them up immediately after Thanksgiving. So... I actually do my trees a few days before Thanksgiving because I do I have a Mickey Mouse tree in the family room and a Victorian tree in the living room and then my daughter has a tabletop tree in her room and when Christmas is here we're done <laughs> we're just done don't want no more Christmas till next year but we, we do love our decorations don't think we don't but and then then every year you take down the decorations clear off your shelves where you've had the nativity and stuff and I god this place is dusty <laughs> so now my daughter's 18 she's graduating this spring and she's growing up and last year and this year she's very enthusiastic about helping me give the house a deep cleaning so so we've started on that um, let's see today is Monday I'm off work because of it's New Year's Eve um, <coughs> Friday night we cleaned um, the living room. We gave the living room a deep cleaning, and I have shelves full of um, <coughs> I have four shelves full of cherished teddies, and four shelves full of um, just pretty ladies and pretty dresses. There's no just just from assorted mix and match ladies, and um, I had that under there the whole time, and we dusted all of that and then I have a shelf full of Victorian houses I love Victorian houses so we got that done this is done um, so now I'll do a tag I'm gonna do this one so we um we just been cleaning <laughs> we finished the living room on Friday night um Saturday I yeah Saturday I think I cleaned the oven and then we cleaned the um, the dining room and I have shelves full of stuff there I have some very old teapots and and um, creamers and sugars and gravy bowls and I have a shelf full of that stuff and then there's the the china cabinet and I have a curio cabinet and we dusted all everything and moved all the furniture and, and cleaned and then um so then yesterday was sunday and we cleaned the uh, hall the the entryway the staircase and the upstairs hall which is basically one odd shaped room and i i have in the hallway upstairs i have two walls covered in family portraits one wall is is um 
our ancestors, very old fo photos of grandparents and great grandparents, and um, <coughs> the other wall is is uh, currently us and um, my husband's family and my side of the family and our current pictures, current within the last 20 years. <laughs> so we dusted all of that. Um, there's just no end. I'm going to have to put that on that corner because it's, that's just the way it was. Um, I think I'll put that down here. Sure. Okay. Merry Christmas. And we need something over here. A Christmas light. Red or four? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let's go with green. I'm probably going to make two or three videos of me. <laughs> making Christmas tags and borders and, and I'm gonna get my entire book all organized when I get done okay I'll add a button <laughs> or two one of each color button Oh, so yes, anyway, so we, I got the entryway down, done, the stairs, hallway. Then we cleaned our downstairs half bathroom, which is right by the kitchen. And then we worked on the kitchen. We got one corner of the kitchen done. <laughs> well, it's about half done. I still have the other corner. It's like two more corners to do. Three, actually we got one corner done. Yeah, and, oh, and we cleaned out the refrigerator. Took everything out took the shelves and drawers out and washed everything. I looked on the back of my refrigerator. It's just your basic um, freezer on the top. Um, basic refrigerator. And uh, it said 1996. It was my husband's when I married him. Uh, next May will be our 20th anniversary and it just keeps on going and the way they make things nowadays I know that my next one is not going to last that long I know it's not and we've talked about what kind we want next and um, I I am not going to pay like two thousand dollars for one of those um, with the freezer on the bottom I'm not going to do it so that's not going to happen <laughs> Uh, so the other option is the side by side but then I was, my daughter and I were looking at one of those in a furniture ad and they just don't have a lot of re refrigerator space what we have is probably more than what's what's there so we're gonna stick with the um, what we have <laughs> um, and it, it fits our space we won't have to change anything to make a bigger one fit so but unfortunately there won't be a lot of choices when we do choose one and I want white I don't want stainless steel I want white I do have a, I have a white stove that's only less than five years old and I want a white one because over the years I'm not going to grow tired of it things the style is not going to change yeah the colors might come back but I'm not going to go for it Okay, oh, that's really cute. So there's a Mickey Mouse tag. I love it. And <laughs> I used my Mickey Mouse background, and I got a little bit of silver right there, but wh whatever. I know that's when I make these tag bases, tag and border bases, that not much is going to show. But it's colorful. Okay, now it's time to make another tag. I want this on there. I know I want to use that one. Um, ooh, I like this. 
Let's go for some. Let's, let's, let's use this one. Yes. Look how fast I am. <laughs> huh. I have all these words already in my book that I need to get used up. And then I bought all this stuff. And <laughs> I'm using up the new stuff. Late lies a winky son of bed, a frosty, fiery, sleepy head. Yeah, these came on a 40, graphic 45, 12 by 12 sheet. And uh, some of this is just... Late lies the wintry son of bed, a frosty, fiery, sleepy head. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to recycle that. I need some words. These are my words. So I'm flipping through my book over here off to the side. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Here's some words. got this but I'm gonna have to customize it a little bit where's my scissors there they are this is a sticker so this will go here gotta trim this off a little bit I didn't really I guess I didn't have to trim it so that oh I'm liking it I'm liking it um, I need to use some of these. There's two dogs at a Christmas tree. I'll get those used up. Now, in my everyday stickers, I've gone through my friend and I, Kathleen, my good friend Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. We, um, she showed me a, a YouTube channel of a lady, um, RT RTS scrapping on uh, YouTube. She showed how she um, used wax paper and took all the stickers off of her sticker pages and sorted them the way that she likes to have them sorted, which is what I do, and put them directly on this wax paper. And th it works. It works. Um, she did say to only use um, Reynolds wrap, Reynolds brand. Because that's the only thing she's tried. She said some people have said that um, some of the l lower price brands don't work. Um, so I just used, I just happened to have that brand in my cabinet. So that's what I used. 
and um, I like I like doing it that way so I'm gonna stick with it so when I organize my Christmas section I'm going to peel off all of my stickers and put them on wax paper What would I do without my razor blade? I keep a razor blade um, in a little tiny candle holder right next to my, oh this is an old sticker, right next to my sink and I scrape stuff with it and open packages with it. I do use scissors too. Uh, but I keep it there and I use it all the time. Okay, I'm going to glue this. Oh, used up this glue stick. Yeah, I gotta start a new one. This is, I keep this with, I scribble on the top with a sharpie. And then my old glue stick, I put the new stick, new lid on it and toss it. And then I, this lid will go on there and I always know which one I'm using. And then I don't have a bunch of different glue sticks that are being used. And then they stay sealed, you know, not really sealed, but they don't get opened up until till I'm ready to use them okay I didn't get any things hanging off the side I gotta do that I gotta do that <laughs> it's my it's my obsession let's go for some red this isn't really well none of these in here are that that looks Christmassy that's Christmassy I could f add flowers too. Oh, this is. Well, I'll use this as like a ticket stub. There. Okay. My daughter was asking me already this morning, Mom, are we going to do any more house cleaning today? Yes, we are. I'm not... I think I'll make one... This might be my last one for now. And then we got to get busy on our housework. stickers with that are on the plastic clear plastic backing those seem to be the hardest for me to get started sometimes or two. I've been, I haven't, well, I've, I've made some scrapbook pages. I'm out of photos again. Uh, I'll be ordering some soon. Um, and then I did, I, I did two glue books in December. Uh, this month so I've been pretty busy and but I get kind of stuck on one thing and now I'm going to be stuck on making tags and borders for a little while and I was kind of stuck on on um, the glue books for a while and then when I get photos that's my number one thing is scrapbooking so I'll get those done and it won't take me long <laughs> uh, but I kind of stay on one subject for a little while, and and I'm in Facebook groups. Um, 
One is for tags, um, and I'll be uploading like crazy for a while, posting there uh, my tags and borders for a while. It's it's tag art embellishments made with love or something like that. Um, but I post all of my tags on there, and then then they won't hear from me for a while, and I'll be posting. And I've got mixed media glue book something, and then there's vintage glue book. Uh, those are two groups, and I've, I'll be up, I upload. I've been uploading a lot into theirs, posting in their their groups a lot. Um, and now I'm be working on my tags and borders for a while, but I and so I won't be doing glue books for a while. But I'm gonna be pretty busy this month finishing my house cleaning. Hope to finish the kitchen today, and that'll be the entire first floor. And then I've got three bedrooms upstairs. Well, there's my bedroom, my daughter's bedroom, and this room, the third bedroom, which is my craft room. But I just redid it in, in May. I just moved in here in May, so it's only been six months, and I only clean once a year. <laughs> Deep cleaning. Uh, so I might not have to do a little tidying up, not, not much, because I do keep it tidy. And then, um, um, I got to clean my bathroom and then the family room and I've got so many collections in there and then the sunroom and then the basement it seems like there's no end to the cleaning but last year my daughter and I did this we cleaned the entire house in Jill in in January we've got a good head start now I think I got a message on my phone anyway so um then that last February, after I had all my housekeeping done, February, I had a lot of fun. I, I was playing and playing and playing, making glue books and tags and borders, and I just had so much time, and it, it's, it was worth it. <laughs> so if I'm not posting a lot in January, February, I will be. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'm going to make some more ta Christmas tags and borders, so watch for my videos. Bye-bye.